So today is the 50th anniversary of this record, uh, Bruce Springsteen's second record, The Wild, The Innocent, and The East Street Shuffle, came out today, November 5th, 1973. Um, I listened to this this morning, which I probably listen to this record once or twice a month. Um, it's an all-timer for me, could easily cracked my top 10 or top top 5 or 20 or something. Um, this was such an important record when I was, I'd say, young and teen years. Because this, this sort of brought me beyond uh, Born to Run, beyond The River, um, Born in the USA, of course. Because this is the record that, like, I remember my, my older brother Lane, who I talk about a lot here, this, I think this may have been his favorite record of all time. Um, it's definitely up there. Uh, his friend Mark can comment in the sections if I have that wrong. Uh, I remember Lane and I driving around New Jersey just all the time, and this was, you know, we'd drive to the shore, we'd, whatever, drive out to eat, we went to Springsteen, we went to Springsteen shows. And this was the record that my brother just, I remember he used to argue, I think he did, whether you can put Incident on 57th Street on a mixtape without Rosalita following it, because it just rolls into it, right? And I think he finally determined that you could <laughs> and would have that incident was, a, he always just referred to it as incident. Uh, he loved, loved that song so, so much. But the rest of it, East Street, there's only seven songs, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, you know, Bruce's debut, Greetings from Asbury Park, I think if you look at 1973 to 1987, everything that Bruce put out, I think, was a perfect 10, with the exception of Greetings from Asbury Park, which is like an 8.7. A lot of good songs on Greetings, but there's also a few not great ones. Mary Queen of Arkansas, The Angel, uh, but it obviously has some huge, huge Springsteen songs. Spirit in the Night, For You, uh, Lost in the Flood. But this one, seven songs, all perfect. And it's, to me, it's unbelievable that this record is 50 years old. It sounds just as relevant today as I will hope it did in 73. So I know the story at least, you know, I've read a ton of Springsteen bios, and um, I believe the story is, you know, when he went in for Born to Run, which is 1975 and his third record, that that was it. Like he had an, one more shot um, because these, I don't think sold very well. And if, if I have that wrong, please correct me in the comments. But I think the first two didn't sell very well and then Born to Run which he spent so much time sort of tweaking, uh, exploded. And he became the sensation that is Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Um, but I think a lot of people would say, maybe not a lot, some people might say that this is his best record. I think if, you, if, you, if, if we're talking about my favorite Springsteen records, the ones that I listen to the most, Today, it would probably be Tunnel of Love and this. Those are the ones I go to the most. I listen to Tunnel of Love all the time. Um, and I know it's a, like a breakup divorce record. I've never been married, so <laughs> uh, maybe I relate to the breakup part. I've, I've had breakups. Um, I don't know, but Wild the Innocent, it's like a party record. It's a Jersey record. It feels like The Shore. It feels like a Martin Scorsese movie. Uh, New York City Serenade, Wild Billy's Circus Story, Kitty's Back, Fourth of July. God, this record is just spot on. Uh, and it's, maybe it holds such a dear place because it really reminds me of two people uh, who are no longer with us. Uh, my brother Lane, who I talk about a lot here, um, who passed away in, in 20, early 2021, and my high school friend, George, uh, who passed away 
tragically in a car accident in 2012, I believe it was. Um, George and I had sort of lost touch, but he, he and I were really close around music in high school, college. Um, and this is a record, I can, I can remember him putting it in his Nissan Sentra. While the Innocent in the East Street Shuffle, just putting the cassette in and he and I would just be so happy. It's funny, I, all these throwback things. I got my car wash yesterday and I, whenever I ask if you want like the scent thing, I always say no. And for some reason I said yes yesterday and I got, I know this is random, I got vanilla because, and that's what my friend George's car always smelled like. He always had the vanilla scent thing from the car wash. So when I put it in my car, and I may have been listening to this on the way that, I don't know. I don't know if this happens as you get older. You start to, I told uh, my therapist this, that lately I've like had smells and colors that have like brought me back to parts of my childhood. And I, I guess that's normal. Maybe you guys can relate. Uh, but this, I put it on, like I played it this morning as I was doing laundry and, uh, it just brings me back to so many great memories with Lane and my friend George and so many other people. My friend Jamie, who lives, uh, he and I have sort of lost touch. He was one of my closest high school friends. Uh, where does he live now? He lives in Dallas. Uh, he used to put this on, he drove a Suburban. It was like his family's Suburban. One of them, one of those huge Suburban trucks. <laughs> and he would always play the East Street Shuffle because he just loved it. Uh, but on any given day, this could be my favorite record of all time. And I, it's just bewildering, is it the right word to me, that it's 50 years old. Uh, love the cover. I've always loved the font um, of, the, of Bruce and the album title. It's a great shot in the back, the band. Uh, I hope UHQR or the Mobile Fidelity folks uh, put one of the reissue this I'm gonna listen to it again right now what a tremendous record um, I uh, have a bunch of videos coming up I, I did a teaser and like a story or not a story but a YouTube post I guess about my favorite year in music which I was gonna do today but I was inspired to cover this Bruce record uh, and my uh, mental health posts are coming uh, I'm gonna try and work on them later this week or next weekend. Uh, so, uh, certain times, right? It's hard to say, I hope you're all well. I know it's, it's a lot going on in the world. Um, but, and I, now I feel weird even talking about music, right? How, but, thank God for music. Um, what a, what a way to, to to just feel things, I don't know. Um, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, The Wild, The Innocent, and The E Street Shuffle came out on November 5th, 1973, 50 years ago today. Put this on today, if you have some free time. It's a remarkable record. Thanks for stopping by.